purpose gives us the integration and direction we all crave. So when you are about to follow career paths that are unsuited to your character, hearing it involves introspection, things tend to happen. You have the inner strength to do what you must and not be swayed by other people who have their own agendas. All right, good morning. Today is Wednesday, 4.45 right now. Today I'm just gonna walk you through a full day of eating. So first thing I always do, have a makeshift electrolyte drink. This is 12 ounces of water and juice from one full lemon. Also, not sure exactly how much salt, but just five cranks of pink Himalayan salt. So the salt and lemon juice acts as electrolytes, and then the water will hydrate you and essentially be held by those electrolytes. So first things first, hydrate. Doesn't taste good, but gets you hydrated. And now, pre-run, two bananas, and about a serving of honey. This will be my carb source for the first 30 to 45 minutes of today's run. And then after that, I will be taking honey packets for fuel during the run. So each one of these has 50 calories and 12 grams of carbs. So just super fast acting carb source. Honey is extremely high on the glycemic index, which essentially states how quick the carb gets into your system. I also have black coffee. I like to make this the night before and then just put it in a thermos. I do the pour over coffee so it just saves time. I'm gonna eat this and then have honey packets during the run. And then I'll come back and show you what breakfast is looking like. 1.95 miles in. So just wrapping up this two mile warm up right now. I like to walk the last like tenth of a mile or so. And that's when I take my honey packets and then just get the heart rate down for the upcoming two mile interval. So I got 0 0.03 miles left until the start of the first two mile. These two mile intervals will be done at a 750 pace, which is my marathon pace. 0.02 miles left. So gonna knock out this first two mile interval and I'll check in after. First interval done. Ended right at the beach part. A little cloudy, but beautiful regardless. Now it's me one mile recovery jog. I'm just gonna turn around now. Up there, that's Diamond Head. Lots of elevation. So average pace for the first interval, 747, which is in line with 750 or below. Overall felt pretty good. A little fatigue from that half marathon time trial, but the recovery miles Monday, Tuesday definitely helped. Just finished second interval, average pace 7.48. On the canal here, got the sunrise in the background, third interval complete. Average pace for that one was 7.45 per mile, so a little faster than the first two, which I guess is good. But hopefully I can still stay under 7.50 for the last two. And the recovery mile now, fourth interval complete, average pace 7.48. Still holding below that 750, but man, that that rep was difficult. Home stretch here, last 0.15 miles of the last cool down mile. Pretty much at my house, so I'm just gonna wander to get the last 0.1. Just got back from run, absolutely drenched, but this will be next plan of action. So in that mason jar, about five to 10 grams of creatine. Not really sure how much I do, but at least five grams, and then one scoop BPN electrolytes. Super refreshing. About the only thing that I want right now. So that workout was 17 miles total. Total time, two hours, 34 minutes. So what it was, two mile warm up, and then five two mile intervals at 
750 minute per mile each with a one mile recovery jog in between each one. Go over my splits, two mile warm up, done at an average pace of 1043. So super slow, and then I walked the last tenth of a mile or so just to eat my first two honey packets. And then first two mile interval, done at average pace of 747. So below the 750, which is good. Recovery mile at 1048. Second two mile interval at 747. So exactly the same as the first one, which is always a good sign. Recovery mile at 1055. Third two mile interval at 746. So slightly faster than the first two. Recovery mile at 1116. And then two mile interval at 748. Still holding below that 750. Recovery mile at 1147. And then last two mile interval at 748. So hit paces on every single one of those two mile intervals. Really reassuring to see that, especially being this is the last difficult speed work of marathon prep. I think this was probably the hardest one all of prep. And I still managed to exceed paces, which is always good. I will count complete. I will do my stretching routine and then make breakfast. Breakfast is made. So here we got three whole eggs. 250 mils of egg whites cooked in one serving of butter and then three pieces of sourdough. I just get the sourdough at Costco and they source it from a local bakery, which is cool. And then here, got one third of a pineapple. So I'll enjoy this breakfast and then I'll see you for lunch. It's noon now. Next meal is gonna be Sweet potato, ground beef, and kimchi on top. So it's about 17 ounces of sweet potato. And then about four or five ounces of ground beef. And the kimchi that I use, I found at Costco. Seems like it's locally made, authentic. Really good, gives it Nice flavor and kimchi is good for the gut just because it's fermented foods. Fermented and pickled foods are really good for the gut. Helps the gut microbiome. It just helps with digestion. So I'll put some salt, just Costco, pink Himalayan sea salt. And then with this, also eating an orange, just a standard car car orange from Costco. And then lastly, I'm gonna drink a cold brew after I eat because I have a job interview at the YMCA at 1.30. Leave here in about 40 minutes from now. But this is lunch. Sweet potato, ground beef, pink Himalayan salt, kimchi, an orange, and then a cold brew. Gonna eat this, go to my job interview, come back, maybe edit these clips, and then I will have my dinner, which you will see in the next clip. Just got back from the interview at YMCA. I think that went really well. The only downside is the commute is half an hour away. So it would be an hour each day of commuting, but I figured I could take the bus and that's like an hour each way. And I could do stuff during the bus ride, so. Lots of possibilities for that. Pretty confident about how that went. Just relating to the interviewer a lot. She seemed very impressed with my experience and knowledge. So I'm really hoping for that position. That would be 30 to $35 an hour, which is something I have never earned before. So that would be very nice to get a full-time position there. But just got back, it's 3 p.m. now. Probably eat again at 4 or 4.30. For the time being, I'll have a spin drift. So this is a really clean drink. They have them at Costco. Big multi-packs of lemon, lime, and grapefruit. So the only ingredients here 
carbonated water and lemon juice. Super clean, it's three calories. Can't really go wrong with that, super refreshing. So I'll have one of these while editing all the clips from earlier today. I like to do same day uploads if I can. So I'll probably upload a video every Wednesday, Saturday, and Sunday. So be sure to subscribe if you wanna see a lot of days in the life, grocery hauls, full days of eating, excursions, running, training, just all things lifestyle. Dinner time now. So this is what we got. It's two servings of basmati rice with one serving of butter. And then also might even be like 10 ounces of chicken. So the way I made this is in a slow cooker, just put three packs of Costco chicken and a full jar of Costco salsa. Super simple recipe, just raw chicken breast and salsa put in the slow cooker for four hours and then just shred it up with two forks and you're good to go. Alongside this, also got a pear. So this is the rice that I use. Traditional Basmati rice from Costco. Kirkland. It's a 20 pound bag for like 15 bucks. Super simple meal. Two servings Basmati rice, one serving butter, and then slow cook salsa chicken. Last meal for the day. What we got here, plain Greek yogurt with strawberries, blueberries, and honey on top. Plain Greek yogurt is pretty tart on its own. So the honey and the fruit add some sweetness to it. I remember when I was a kid, my parents actually got plain yogurt instead of vanilla from the store. And when my siblings and I went to try it, it was so tart and just so unenjoyable that we just had a meltdown and started crying. But since then, taste buds have adapted, learned to enjoy the simple foods, add natural sweetness from honey and fruit. So this is last meal of the day. I think total calories, somewhere around 3,200, and then 200 grams of protein, I think 70 grams of fat, and 500 grams of carbs. So super high carb, high protein, Carbs are good to fuel endurance. Being this deep into a marathon prep, carbs are essential just to fuel my workouts and active lifestyle. Protein, it's good to just have one gram per pound of body weight. I'm about 175 pounds right now, but I've always done 200. A little extra, never hurt. So this is everything I eat in a day, being three and a half weeks out from my very first marathon. I don't really eat for physique goals, more performance goals. This style of eating is to fuel performance and have me feeling my best, both physically and mentally. I'd say I follow a loose animal-based diet. Animal-based has me feeling the best out of any other diet I've tried. So I eat a lot of fruit, honey, animal products, and then simple carbs like sweet potatoes and sourdough. This concludes today's video. Today was Wednesday, March 20th. So we did the big speed workout. That was extremely challenging. And then just took you through a day of eating. Also had that YMCA interview, which I have high hopes for. I just sent a follow-up email just thanking the interviewer for their time. So hopefully that puts me on a good side. Anyways, I will enjoy this and I will see you for Saturday's video.